Hello again. This is Uncle Milo Explains, number 12, Apple Picker, the easier way. Hello, uh, this is Uncle Milo. I'm standing here in Peach Hill Park again. It's autumn. It's time to pick apples again. And uh, here they are. As you can see, they're just about out of reach, just about every single one of them. And, uh, of course, I've got to use an apple picker. Well, back on another Uncle Milo Explains episode, I showed how to make this apple picker here. Now, the trouble with this apple picker is you have to locate a uh, butterfly net. And the problem with butterfly nets is they're hard to find. They used to be in the dollar stores. They're not there anymore. So uh, a while back, I was out looking for apple pickers and to see other people on YouTube. Honestly, I came up, I, I saw a better idea. So this is, uh, I'm going to explain how to make an apple picker the easier way. And uh, this is what I came up with. I have already made this and tested it. And uh, what it is, is a... Uh, it's just a bottle, a soda bottle, on a stick. And uh, very quick and easy to make, very simple parts and ingredients, and you can find them uh, just about anywhere. And uh, I'm just going to show you now how I assemble it and then uh, how it works. All right, now, to make this apple picker, I'm going to need, to start with, I'm going to need bottles. Now, this is a standard two-liter bottle. It's about the smallest you can get. Uh, if you get a larger size, this is a two and a half liter or three liter would work very well as well. So you want to have larger sizes. Um, you have to drink the soda in them or find somebody who's already used the soda. Um, then you need a stick. I brought a couple of sticks. Um, these are about, oh, about four feet long. They're pretty good. Um, you can make them longer or shorter as you need. Um, I, I figure uh, at least three feet will give you enough of a reach to get a decent amount of apples. And finally, you need tape. Now, some people call it duct tape. Some people call it duck tape. Technically, since this is a canvas tape, it's made from, originally made from canvas ducking, so it's actually duct tape. But uh, it's whatever you call it. Anyways, um, that's what we'll use. So Now, I'm going to mark the uh, opening. The opening has to be pretty wide because you have to be able to get the apple in there. So I'm going to mark it all the way on each side. And up at the top, I want to make a notch. Now that notch is important because it's going to actually catch the apple. Same thing here. This has got to be big enough for the big, biggest apple to go through. So. All right, next I'm going to take the scissors. I'm going to cut out each of these openings. All right. On each of these, I haven't cut the top notch yet, so I'm going to cut the top notch very carefully because that's going to help snag the apples. Okay, that notch is where it's going to catch the stem of the apple and pull it. All right, now, this is just traditional silver tape. To uh, make it adhere a little bit better, I'm going to start with a little bit of silver tape on the stick just to uh, help, help hold a bit better. What I'm doing here is I'm wrapping a little bit of extra tape on this so that it'll stick to the bottle a little bit better. Remember, I'm not going to tape around the hole. I'm going to actually be taping underneath the hole. Anyways, this will help it hold on a bit better. Okay, so, now what I want to do is I want to tape it up. There, that label goes.
In the back here, the stick is going up past the, the hole. I'm going to actually just put a piece of tape here to stabilize it to give it better reinforcing. Notice though that it, I'm not going to put it right to the hole. I have to uh, make sure it doesn't it doesn't uh, go over the hole. Just sticks close to it. Not a perfect job, but it'll do. And now the lower part. I'm just going to wrap it a few times and uh, that should take care of it. Doesn't have to be complicated. It just has to stick. And that's my first one. I'll do the second one. This is a little bit off center, but it'll work fine. I'll go ahead and have this second one done in just a moment. Okay, now I'm going to start here. Take a piece of tape, make sure it doesn't get tangled. And uh, I'm going to st actually start a little lower because uh, I need it to start up. Oh, there we go. About there. Like that. I want the stick to be on the top. And uh, again, I'm going to go start from the inside here, put it around, put it there. Anything that sticks on the inside, you just stick it on the inside and it's fine. And now I do the big wrap just around the bottom part and uh, that'll take care of it. This is so temporary and so lightweight, I can throw it away with a good conscience because I can build a new one next year. That's the nice thing about this. The butterfly net version was pretty complicated and I wanted to keep it, but this one is so easy, I don't have any problem. If I have to get rid of it, I can just throw it away. Okay, get rid of the water that was there. I rinsed it out. You can leave the cap on or not as you please. And uh, this is now ready to pick apples. All right, I'm back in the orchard and uh, ready to try it. I'll try the smaller one and uh, just go up there and let's get some apples. All right, I'm ready to try it out now. I'm over in the orchard again, um, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and reach up. I've gotta get the opening there. That notch in the top is for the stem, and I wanna just bring it in, and pull, and okay, and there it goes. That one, those ones that dropped, I, I don't know, I could take them off the ground, but I prefer to have them in here. And there it goes, and you can actually see, the nice thing about using a clear bottle is there it is. And as you can see, it works pretty good. Okay, back here at the uh, bag where I'm collecting my apples, I can just take it, tip it, and the apples will just drop right out. Not a problem. Okay, I'm using the two and a half liter bottle, a little bit bigger. Um, I could probably collect more apples at one time in it with it. Got that caught. Not as easy as it looks sometimes it's a little difficult because I've got to grab the stem but there we go sorry I'm not keeping it perfectly focused and uh, boy it's uh, sometimes it give you a little bit of trouble okay that one landed right there and I'm gonna do the round scoop up thing where I can Right right, in. That's the end here of uh, Uncle Milo Explains number 12, Apple Picker the Easier Way. Thank you for listening and uh, hope you can see more of my videos.